Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video. In this video we're going to be taking a first look at Princess as a mythic character visually on the right hand side. I think this is probably the most princess we kind of know in terms of how she looks in the comic books. She has had two characters, a 6 star and an S class, but this kind of combines both of them because the 6 star had a spear and the S-Class was a ranged character. Very well known for the big sort of machine gun that she normally carries, that she had as an S-Class character. You can see on the art on the left-hand side. Also known with that spear as well. So, yep, I think everything is good. The pink fluffy jacket, very important for a princess visually. I think most people are going to be quite happy with how she's turning out here. On the left-hand side, we can see her with the bubble gum as well. It's a shame that that bubble gum isn't, like, popping. Now, I know that's just asking a lot, but my, my standards have gone up now on this, this art on the left-hand side. But I like it. I like the visuals quite a lot. All the grenades as well. Definitely ready for battle. As a tier 5, level 600 gold mythic, she has got 14,314 attack. 13,163 defense, 13,303 HP. She is, of course, a tough character. She is utilizing that rifle. She is a damage dealer, and she is, of course, a mythic character. She is part of the Commonwealth, so she is the first character to come with the Commonwealth Allegiance. Now, we'll take a look at her adrenaline rush, and it is called Heavy Assault. It is a 66 AP cost rush. Deal four attacks of 200% damage, 800% total to random enemies. This character and one ally gets pain split for two turns. So, obviously, two parts of this. The four attacks of 200% damage, which is 800% total to random enemies, is going to be A, really powerful, but B, it's going to look crazy. If we remember, like, Sandy's rush, I wasn't sure what's going on here. There's more attacks in this one. There is, of course, the benefit of this is going to be multi-hits. She is a tough character. She can have a double attack weapon. She can also have a rampage weapon. This could legitimately just go absolutely crazy. I'm going to do it with a basic weapon first. And then I'll probably show it with a Rampage weapon just to show, you know, the full potential there. The pain split is interesting. I'm not really sure there. I guess if she is, a, you know, she's a damage dealer, she's going to be mainly used on an attack team. It will reduce her potential of being taken out really easily. I don't mind this too much, but pain split has never really been that fantastic. There wasn't any changes to how it worked. They needed to make it so that if you have pain split, you kind of got like a boost in defense or a reduction in the damage taken, obviously, other than the actual fact that it's split in two. Okay, so we're going to rush. This is her with just an attack weapon with AP on it. No double attack, no rampage. We're going to target Abraham up the top. I'm not going to speed up the rush, just show it so we can see what happens. It should go pretty crazy. Four attacks, random attacks as well. So we'll have one, two, three, four. Oh my god, this is absolutely crazy. But I feel it's going to get even crazier if we put a double attack rampage weapon in her hands. Okay, so we are on the rush turn again. This time we do have a double attack rampage weapon in her hands. I'm going to focus Abraham once more and we're going to see how much damage she can do. She has to hit a crit to get the rampage to work. She gets two rampage attacks, three, and unsurprisingly... It is the obliteration of a double attack rampage weapon with a multi-hit rush. So obviously Princess's rush potential just because of the weapon option she's going to have is crazy. It's actually really, really strong. And actually quite a bit of a surprise that a character like this would come out so early. Because this is pretty much what Priya brings to the table in the S-Class era. But we're going to have Princess doing the same as a mythic character. So... I'm not really 100% certain what the idea is behind this one, but she obviously can do a lot of damage. The pain split you did see actually happen means that she could potentially be used on a defense team to a reasonably decent standard and, and not get destroyed unless it's in the first you know couple of turns before she gets her rush up. But the pain split, I, I don't think really enhances her kit too much. I'm just going to go ahead and say it now. It's mainly those four attacks for 200% damage because you just saw the damage output. Absolutely crazy. And what's really beneficial about it being random damage too, because it says to random enemies, it means if you attack one enemy and do like 90% damage to them but don't manage to take them out, then the next attack could go to someone else. And then if it does hit a rampage, 
the rampage damage could take out the one you targeted so it's just like you're not wasting the sort of focused main attack which can crit on a target that's only got really low hp that is a really big benefit so of course crazy rush let's go and check out what the signature move has to offer it has got an initial cooldown of turn two cooldown of three a number of uses 999 right now the turn two cooldown means it will obviously be able to be used as a basic attack signature move and then rush in most circumstances deal 150 percent damage to a line of enemies this character gets 25 crit for two turns now this part of her kit cannot crit this part of her kit you cannot hit a double attack so it's not going to utilize the the same sort of weapon that you could before it's all about flat damage here having as much attack stat as possible to try and make that line damage as powerful as possible however because like i said just just a second ago she will be doing a basic attack then her signature move and then her rush she will be doing her rush generally after this and she'll be getting a 25 crit bonus for that rush it doesn't sound like a lot but it's going to make her hit crits more often and that does mean hit rampage attacks more often okay so we are on the turn two we can focus abraham again i can just swipe left and we will do line damage it'll be pretty good damage that's trait damage to erica there she is an alert character so you can see if you get really high attack stat obviously that 150 percent is still going to be really really dangerous of course the defense teams are going to load up on hp going to load up on defense weapons are going to be boosted so this is just giving you an indication of roughly how it's going to work but her signature move is never going to be the sort of power that we saw with her rush i see it as more of a bonus and you can see here with that crit buff now, that's going to amplify the rush on the next turn. So it's a it's a pretty decent signature move. I wouldn't say it's spectacular. I mainly see it as just that setup basically for the next turn when she's going to absolutely go wild with that adrenaline rush. Now she of course has got some mythic abilities. Being a mythic character, she's going to have those passives. She is a damage dealer, so she's going to get 10% increase in basic attack damage she also has a base impair resistance 20 percent impair resistance this stacks with mods i've been informed so you can of course get an 85 percent impair mod on plat and then you can make it so that she has 100 percent impair resistance obviously that would be immunity the next one is deep wounds when attacking she has a 30 percent chance the target gets 15% of this character's attack in bleed damage for two turns. Obviously, you're going to stack attack stat on this character, so that is actually quite nice. 30% is quite high too. I did have to restart a couple of those test attacks that you saw in the, in the previous clips because she was getting that off and I didn't want to you know, give it away too much. She has got the last one as an honor roll expert. Again, a lot of the time there will be a passive that plays into their special skill. She is an honor roll specialist, but 10% increase to the attack bonus from the honor roll specialist skill. Now, I'm not really sure why this is here. I guess this is just to give a buff specifically to princess rather than making, you know, honor roll two. Because effectively, with honor roll, you get 20% increase in attack each turn where you're not, you know, have a debilitating effect on you. But Princess gets 30% instead of 10, uh, instead of 20%. So she'll go 30, 60, 90 rather than 20, 40, 60. So she gets to the 60% on her second turn, whereas normally she'd get there on her third. So she's going to have a bigger boost for that rush. So I definitely like this. That means that Scopely could basically create kits around certain special skills and enhance the special skill of a particular character because they think it plays into their kit a bit more i don't necessarily think princess needed this just because she's already extremely powerful because you know turn two she's gonna have a 60 percent attack boost and we saw what i did already so we are off the first turn and i'm going to basic attack abraham we're gonna try and get that bleed up we do get it up and as you can see it is 3847 bleed that is 15 percent of princess's attack stat right now it is worth noting this bleed will obviously get boosted based on her honor roll specialist we'll just line up the attacks on another character and let's see if we can get another bleed in fingers crossed we do and as you can see it went up to 5,000 bleed there and it stacks with the previous bleed and now it's up to 8,000 bleed really low chance of this happening i'm so thankful that it happened on the first try but 8,848 bleed is obviously crazy, but with only 30% chance of hitting this, I wouldn't see this as the main way of you know, causing damage with Princess. This is definitely a bonus on top. 
especially considering you'd most likely do her signature move on turn two rather than just doing a basic attack. So the bleed obviously is just a little bit of a, a bonus on top just to get the HP down of maybe some very high HP characters. You did see the honor roll expert working there as well where she was getting a 30% boost instead of the 20% boost. Which is what the, her specialist does on base. This character's attack increases by 20% at the start of each turn after the first, up to a maximum of 120% after six turns. The bonus resets if taken out, stunned or impaired. So I thought it was actually debilitated. It's only stunned and impaired. I haven't seen an honor roll character for quite a while, but I do actually like honor roll. One of the biggest bonuses about an honor roll character is you can actually use them on defense and still actually do high amounts of attack because you can build a character quite defensively. Is that the way to go with Princess? I don't think so. We saw what her rush was like. I think you just turn her into that absolute blitz character. But instead of getting that 120%, she'd get 180% because she'd be getting an, an extra 10% for each of those six turns. So obviously the highest potential output she'd have is 180% attack boost, which is obviously going to be nuts. If teams can survive that long, you can see on her first rush, she's got a 60% boost. It's pretty nuts. So we're just going to look at it again. I'm just going to line up some attacks. We're just going to go around the clock. And you're going to see she's going to get the bonus right now. She'll get a 30% attack bonus. As you can saw, you saw the animation. So I can do the line damage against the top row with her signature move. And then I can line up some attacks elsewhere. Try not to give away too much AP. And then she should get her rush. Either be it by being attacked or I'm just going to top it off by Wayland. Let's have a little look. We'll just try and bring some HP down of one of the characters. Let's say we'll do we'll do we'll do Magna. But you can see she's now got a 60% attack boost because of that turn two. And this is where like the, the turn two nuke can come in. She has not got a double attack rampage weapon in her hands this time around. But it's still <laughs> it's just a crazy amount of damage. Now, while I don't think Princess is that defense honor roll specialist, it would be cool to see a defense honor roll specialist. The character that I did that with way back was, I believe it was Tara from the League Store, and it works so well. And obviously, there's the, the character, who is it, Tobin? Have I got the right character? I think it's Tobin, right? Who also, I think, had an honor roll, but he had an absolute defense weapon. Very good on a defense team as well. So it definitely is viable as a specialist skill on defense, but I think Princess is that pretty much all-out attack character from what I'm seeing. Now, when it comes to an attached weapon, she doesn't actually have one. You may have seen in her original picture, pretty obvious, she doesn't have an attached weapon. It's a default rifle. She has got the massive, like, machine gun in her hands right now, but that means you can, if you've got a, a rampage weapon, double attack weapon, whatever you've got already crafted, you could put it into her hands if you've got your if you've got Princess onto your roster. If you wanted to get her, obviously you could start crafting that weapon right now. A specialist weapon just for Princess. But I think most people will have a double attack rampage weapon as it was one of the, the best weapons to craft in the S-Class era. And it looks like it's going to be a weapon that's just going to fit right in the hands of Princess. No armory tokens required. No assembly <laughs> required. You know, it's just instantly she's going to be completely nuts and then we saw how powerful that rush was with a couple of those clips i i'm still i'm actually kind of surprised it's that powerful because we have kind of seen more limited action with the rest of the mythic characters so far but this character just blows everything away when it comes to the amount of damage output she's going to have so yep very very powerful indeed and there's not really much more to say about princess other than that she's you know she is pretty much just her rush she has got the passives that are going to boost it. The signature move is more to just, again, boost it, giving her a crit bonus. And, uh, and again, the specialist skill is just boosting it as well. So it's all about those four hits on the rush. Double attack rampage definitely can work. You are going to see some defense tunes come out that are going to amplify defense buffs, you know, on signature moves and stuff like that. You're no doubt going to have things like reflect mods will be very, very good against Princess. One reflect will just obliterate her. She's going to be gone. So there are ways to combat it. But yeah, the, the potential of Princess is pretty much the highest I've seen so far when it comes to her damage output. She has got obviously direct counters already in the game, but she's going to make things go pretty quick, pretty quick indeed. Princess as a mythic character seems to be that effectively the S-class Priya of the mythic era.
by the looks of things so far. But those are just my thoughts on Princess, giving you some ideas of what she's going to bring to the table. Do leave me your thoughts in the comments down below. That is going to be the end of my video. If you enjoyed it and found it informative, please hit the like button. It is massively appreciated. And if you aren't a subscriber, please think about hitting that subscribe button. Turn on notifications if you are a subscriber. You'll get told when my live streams go live. My videos are released. But that is the end of this one today, guys. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.